few absolute legends. When writing the name of a chemical structure, keep these two things in mind. To write and read your name backwards and make sure that the number of carbons in the name equals the number of carbons in the structure. Here we have a molecule. It is an alcohol and it is a primary alcohol. The number of carbons in our structure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine carbons in our structure, so our name has to have nine carbons. We're gonna write our name backwards by finding the longest continuous chain of carbons. Now, this alcohol functional group is the most interesting thing in the compound. So this is going to be part of our continuous chain of carbon atoms. So we're going to automatically assign this as the one carbon and try to see how long we can count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seems like seven. So by counting three different times to each of the end of these groups here, seven is the longest continuous chain of carbons I can have. So that's hep. Heptanol. For the seven carbons, the hept. For the ain, because there are no double bonds in the structure here, excuse me, because there are all single bonds, we say ain. And then o, meaning the alcohol group right here. Now for clarity, we could say, or redundancy, we could say one heptanol because telling the author or telling the reader that the alcohol group is on this carbon here, one, you're not gonna see that too often because if, it's the, if the one isn't there, it's assumed to be on one. So this accounts for seven carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are methyl groups on these carbons right here. Now, these, because this is automatically assigned as one, you have to count from here to be consistent. One, two, three, four, five, six, dimethyl, heptanol. There are seven carbons in hept, and dimethyl means two more carbons. So nine carbons in our name, and there are nine carbons in our structure. The di tells us that there are two methyl groups, and the methyl means CH3, and they are on the carbon five and six. Now, a great way to double check your work is to put the structure away, not look at it anymore, and then draw from your name, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here is my heptanol, and then five, six dimethyl. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here is my drawing of that. And now with my model kit, I can very much make my structure line it up to make it look like my drawing. I hope this helps. Thank you.